you play competitive sport, whether it's hurling or football, soccer, rugby, or any other sport, you're going to have a decision maker. The decision maker might be a referee, for example, in hurling or football, soccer or GA, or it might be an umpire or some other decision making body in other sports. But regardless of the sport, you're going to have a decision maker because there's always going to be disputes and calls to be made and you know, you'll have calls there in tennis, it's on the line or it's not on the line or it's outside the line or whatever. And I believe that being exposed to decisions, adverse decisions, decisions going against you, decisions the referees make with which you're not happy, I think that's great training and great conditioning for a young person and to accept decisions later in life. And I see, I don't know whether it's getting worse or not, but I get an awful lot of emails from people and consultations and telephone calls and all sorts of contacts from people who complain about a particular adjudication officer being biased or complain about a judge being corrupt or complain about the legal system being corrupt or complain about some other decision maker being corrupt or biased or in the pocket of one of the parties. Just because a decision goes against you doesn't mean that the decision maker is corrupt. Just because the decision goes against you may just be down to, and is probably down to, the decision maker finding on the basis of the facts presented and on the basis of the evidence finding against you. But just because the decision maker whether it's a WRC adjudicator or a Labour court or a court finds for the other side, that doesn't mean that they're corrupt. And the reaction or the response to accuse somebody of being corrupt or being biased is so childish that it beggars belief. And it really demonstrates an inability to simply accept a decision if the evidence and if the facts support that decision and the response that oh he or she is corrupt or biased or whatever or the whole system is biased the whole system is biased against me it's such a childish nonsensical irrational response to a decision going against you that I always draw the conclusion maybe incorrectly that that person must never have played any competitive sport. Because if they did at this age of 10 or 11 or 12 or 14 or 16 or 18 or 20, or even played, uh, you know, to the age of 40, they would be well conditioned and well able to accept bad decisions, difficult decisions, decisions going against them. But they'd be able to accept them without accusing the referee or the umpire or the whole system, the IRFU or the FAI or the GA of being corrupt. Let's face it, if a referee makes a decision against you, you don't say that the whole bloody system, the whole sport, the GA or the FAI or the IRFU is corrupt. And so if a decision maker makes a decision against you in the WRC or in court or in anywhere else for that matter, to draw the conclusion or draw the inference that the whole system, the whole body is corrupt is completely unreasonable. Hope you find this useful and thought-provoking. If you are watching on YouTube, I'd appreciate if you give it the thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in Irish law and Irish business. And if you are listening on to my podcast, the Irish Law and Small Business podcast, then leave a review, if you don't mind, on Spotify or on iTunes or on Google Podcasts, wherever you might listen to your podcasts. Thanks a lot.